What's up guys? Welcome to Dio Home Tech. Thank you for checking out the video and today we're going to be talking about the brand new Mercury Edition Razer Basilisk Gaming Mouse. So the Razer Basilisk has been around for a little while now in its black version. But Razer recently released the Quartz Edition as well as the Mercury Edition. These are the pink and the white one respectively. They are more geared towards people that have a lighter setup and are trying to get uh, a certain theme going on. They look pretty awesome and that white one was what caught my eye when I decided to pick one up. But I was also looking at a high performance mouse so it was kind of like putting two and two together. I wanted to try it out and see how it performed in playing some of the shooters or some of the other games I currently play on PC. So let's take a look at what's in the box. You can actually pick it up the Razer Basilisk in its quartz as well as the Mercury Edition for $65 right now. It's actually a really good price for such a high performance mouse compared to what's out there on the market right now. And it doesn't really break your bank if you're looking to get some ultimate gear for your gaming setup. As a long time Razer Death Eater user, I was a little bit skeptical to get into the Basilisk at first. But I knew that some of the features that are in here were not present on a Death Eater and I wanted to get something a little more performing, especially because I'm looking to spend some time playing a lot of shooters in the next few months. So I'm going to share some of the points that actually made an impact when I was trying to make a decision whether to stay with the Death Eater or make the jump into the Basilisk. Now the first thing was actually the color. I have been looking to make a migration from my black setup into a white setup, so this was actually really nice to me. Um, the mouse looks great and the build feels really really nice too. The components don't feel flimsy and it's the good old Razer quality that we've kind of come to know. So let's try to touch on the technical aspects of the mouse. Right off the bat you can see it on the box that it says 5G gaming mouse. So you may ask what does that mean? The 5G is actually just the acceleration that the mouse possesses when you do a swipe across the mouse pad. Now the next one down is the 15,000 FPS which means frames per second. This will allow you to be pinpoint accurate uh, when actually doing your tracking around the mouse pad. I noticed that when I was playing a shooter and moving the mouse around, I was getting pixel perfect accuracy of what I was trying to do. Now onto the DPI, which for some is actually one of the most important things. This one provides 16,000 DPI, which is dots per second. So you can actually control the DPI from a couple different places on the mouse. Um, but this will give you up to 16,000 so if you need that extra uh, sensitivity it's right there and it's really really nice. A couple of the things about the Basilisk are that you can control the wheel resistance right from under the mouse so you can do um, no tension, middle of the road kind of tension and then a lot of tension where the mouse gets really tracky and you can hear the wheel trying to rotate. This is with no resistance, I'll show you with resistance. And then with full resistance. So if you need that kind of customization, it's right there. So it's perfect for like bunny hopping or weapon switching and things like that. So if you need that kind of control, it's super, super nice to be able to select what you want as far as the sensitivity that you need from your scrolling wheel. So right on your thumb press, you have a side button, which is your DPI clutch. You can actually set your preference to switch to a certain DPI right there on the fly by just clicking that. So you can get that extra layer of customization if you're trying to get above the competition. And then you have the conventional DPI rocker, which sits right under the right and left clicker. So I noticed that it's placed very similar to the Death Aider, so I didn't get into any accidental presses or anything like that. You still get that good ergonomic feeling without having to press any buttons by mistake. And then last but not least, you have the little thumb rest or the thumb deck on the side, which allows you to kind of rest your thumb there, getting ready for any side button presses or anything like that. And it also helps you a little bit of like the thumb fatigue. So if you're someone who's just constantly like twitching your thumb or trying to get to the buttons. And then you have a place where you can actually rest your thumb and only really use the side buttons or the clutch if you have to. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a click test so that you can hear what the mouse sounds like. 
Um, I didn't feel like any of the buttons were shallow or anything like that. On the contrary, they were actually very responsive and I feel like they set at the right height. Um, the side buttons did have a little bit of a travel time to it, but they still, you know, really nice. They still clicky um, and I enjoy them a lot. All in all guys, I actually really enjoyed the new Basilisk. I already knew it was a solid mouse, but it kind of solidified to me to actually get it in my hands, uh, use it, and the performance of it was actually really, really good. So if you're looking to get a really solid mouse and you want to try Razer for the first time, or if you're someone who's been using Razer products for a while, the Basilisk is really, really nice. And the new additions, which is the Quartz and the Mercury, gives you that extra push to make the change or give it a try on something new. All right, guys, this about wraps it up for today. If this video was informational or if it helped you in any way, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do talk about home automation, but we also talk about home technology. We are still doing a giveaway on the channel for a brand new Amazon Echo Dot. So if you want this little guy right here, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel hit that bell button so that you're notified when my new videos come up and also check me out on social media. All my links are down below. I will leave a link for the product on my description so if you're interested in looking at any of the two models just click on that and it'll direct you to it. And again, thank you so much for supporting and checking out my content. I really appreciate it and until next time guys, I'm Dial. See ya.